like to talk to you a little bit about <clears throat> is transformations. So first thing, we, what we've already previously talked about is functions. And there's many um, types of functions that we can have. We can have a uh, uh, you know, constant function. We can have a linear function, f of x equals x. Um, we've also done, talked about quadratic. Effect, I'm sorry, well, we'll just do it a, uh, a squared function. x squared, we have f of x uh, to the cubic. And we can also do like an absolute value as well. We can also do a root. So there's multiple different functions. And what a lot of times um, what we've talked about in the previous chapter is all these functions all have what we call a parent graph. And they all have like a similar graph, um, you know, what without anything changing, just what's happening to the x, we can draw a uh, graph. Now, what we're going to be working on is what at least we're going to give you an overview is transformation. So pretty much saying how are things going to change when we alter these uh, functions. So for this problem, I am going to uh, I'm going to work with the square root uh, function, square root of x. So um, the first thing we're going to talk about is I'm going to give with let's say f of x equals square root of x. So I'm going to give a new function which t stands for transformation of x equals f of x. Now what we're going to do is so this is my transformed function is going to equal my original function which will be Let's erase actually the rest of these so we're not getting confused. Let's write t of x equals my f of x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a certain amount of transformations. So, and those what those transformations we're going to call, uh, we're, going to, we're going to add with them c. So the first thing, first transformation I'd like to speak about is vertical transformation. And a vertical transformations are pretty much when you're going to have a shift upward downwards of the graph. And a little bit of FYI, so if we have our original paragraph, square root function is going to look something like this. It starts at 0, 0. So what we're going to do is how are we going to represent in a transformation of our original f of x, how can we represent a shift either upwards or downwards? Well, the way that we can do that is if we write f of or I'm sorry, transformation of x equals my function f of x and either, um, we'll just say plus c. And when c is positive, we shift upwards. C units. And then we say when C is negative, we shift um, down C units. So uh, for a couple examples, if I was going to say f of x is equal to uh, square root of x plus 1, that would be uh, shift my graph up 1. So instead of starting at 0, 0, I would now start at 0, 1. And I'd just graph, let me just do a dot line here, and I'd just graph the exact same line. Um, let's do another example. I could also do, let's do a negative 3 plus square root of x. Now here, I just tricked you a little bit and I just moved, you know switched around the two forms because usually we always write um, our variables always in front. But you know, in case sometimes you're doing some algebra or something and you're going to get this form. So you're going to want to just always remember, you can always rewrite it back to the form that we're most comfortable with. And then here you can see my c is now, sorry about that. Here you can see that my c is now negative, so now I'm going to shift it down three units. One, two, three. 
And now, however, it's still going to be the same graph. So we're looking through overview of transformations. When you're looking for vertical transformations, uh, you can see it's going to be the C that's adding to your function that is going to give you your vertical shift up or down.